So our next speaker is somebody who I have got to know through her help with my um, working group within the CNCF. Um, so our next talk is the intro to the CNCF platform working group. So I am going to add Abby Bingser. I think I said your name right, Abby. Let's see. You can correct me. If you you're did. In. Awesome. Um, and we have Colin and Sal. So they're from the platform working group. Um, as I said, I've got to know them well working. They have so much insight to platform, what you need to do, um, and they're here to give a little overview of it. So welcome, thank you, and I'm going to remove ourselves. Thank you, God. <laughs> thank you. Hi, everyone. Uh, as so nicely introduced, Colin and I are part of the Platforms Working Group, and we want to introduce it to you all and hopefully get you all involved. So my name's Abby Bangser, and I am a principal engineer at a company called Sintasso and the co-lead of the Working Group. Basically, I'm really passionate about this space because my entire career has been about supporting internal teams being more effective, more efficient, uh, and more secure in the way they can deliver software uh, to end users and to get value. Hey, and I'm Colin Griffin. Uh, so I'm a CTO and founder of Cremware. Uh, I have a, I'm a practicing software engineer, um, and I backed into platform engineering through app delivery uh, as we helped companies develop uh, software applications and software application development capabilities. We realized we didn't have a way to help them host it or deliver anything. So we had to develop what is now articulated as a platform strategy for those folks. So we're happy to share uh, that today. Uh, oh, and so my emoji is not showing up on this slide. Um, there's supposed to be an elephant here, uh, but we wanted to kind of directly address the, the platform engineering hype cycle that we're seeing right now and just call that out. Um, before we get into that, uh, so what are platforms? The, the platforms working group defines uh, platforms as an integrated collection of capabilities defined and presented according to the needs of its platform users. Um, and we're talking here about the broader concept of platforms. We're not trying to get stuck in the mud by having the, the too in-depth conversation about IDPs and some other and data platforms and things like that. Those are inclusive and included in the broader platform conversation that's happening. Uh, you can find the white paper here at the link and we'll distribute the slides after. So acknowledging the hype cycle, platform engineering and platforms as a concept is not new. It's pervasive in the industry. Everyone seems to have some sort of platform uh, today that they're providing. Uh, more and more companies are just happening to develop their own platform capabilities as well. And that has just come along with cloud native development. Um, we see this as an evolution of DevOps. It is not replacing or killing DevOps. Uh, DevOps is ab absolutely has a part. But we're glad this hype cycle is happening because it creates conversation, it creates attention, and it creates activity. Um, and what matters to us is how we direct that attention. Um, what's really nice, too, is it helps us combine and, and makes room for other emerging concepts, such as delivering with a product mindset and, and team formation and things that are really helpful in the product uh, or in the platform engineering uh, world. Uh, so a quick warm up for KubeCon. At KubeCon Amsterdam, we saw platforms everywhere. There were a ton of references to it, as well as companies declaring that DevOps is dead and things like that. Um, and this year will probably be no different. Uh, I think we're going to see a lot more people that are going to be displaying and marketing platforms or their own platforms, whether it's IDPs or otherwise. Um, you'll see, too, there is a specific cube contract for platform engineering, but that doesn't include all of the platform engineering talks. When you go through search the KubeCon schedule, if you search for platform, you'll find there are a ton of talks on platforms this year. So soak it all in. Um, and that's why we're here. We need community support. Come find us at KubeCon as well. And that is why we have this working group, to be able to cut through that hype cycle and make sure that everyone's getting the value that Platforms has the potential to provide to companies. So what is a working group? It is a subset of a larger technical advisory group, or TAG, within the CNCF structure. And the TAG that we're a part of is app delivery, because we believe that software gets delivered in concert with the infrastructure it depends on, and that's where Platforms come into play. And so we have facilitated meetings both as a group to discuss and share ideas, as well as to dive into the kind of meatier topics that we are delivering. And so uh, the reason that we created this working group for platforms underneath the tag is because we saw this challenge of 
people only talking about app delivery or infrastructure as code? But what happens when an application depends on infrastructure? We want to talk about the patterns that we were seeing emerge and come to a common language across across the industry on those topics. We also felt like it was really important to have a vendor agnostic, business domain agnostic, country agnostic way of trying to talk through these challenges and radiate the information that we're getting from communities and, and people doing these in their day jobs. So who are these people that create such an environment? It's a super welcoming, welcoming group of over 40 different people that are a part of consultancies and user companies. So these are people creating internal platforms and vendor companies that are trying to help make that an easier world for people. And so the work that we've been doing uh, is to try and release some papers. In April, we released a white paper, which sets the top level kind of concepts of what, why uh, behind platforms. And we've started to dive into more of the details recently. And in the next couple of weeks, we're going to be seeing uh, a maturity model come out, which is our first attempt to try and give people something that they can kind of address within their own context. What is it that you need to be doing as a company, evaluating and doing to be successful with platforms in your context? All models are broken, but some are useful, and we really think this one can be useful. So it's being released along with a number of uh, descriptors, including examples and characteristics, so that you can really apply it to your context. So our call to action is come participate, uh, come join in on the conversation. Um, there's a lot of controversy, there's a lot of stuff to sift through, and there's a lot of work to do, so we need your help. Um, we're doing currently doing deep dives on core concepts like platform as a product or product mindset, how to measure and quantify platform success, introducing concepts like security by default and zero trust and other areas as a part of the larger conversation. And we need to engineer support on uh, creating guides for uh, how to evaluate specific tools or even how to implement specific tools that might help your platform journey. Um, and we need sandboxes. We need to develop uh, example platforms to help articulate and help show and demonstrate what a platform looks like based on best practice definition. However, um, the, the platforms working group uh, in general is a great place to start there. And we have new initiatives like the platform as a product white paper that are starting today as well. So uh, join us, uh, share helpful documents, uh, whatever you can, what your company allows you to share, um, challenge the assumptions, uh, create, give us feedback. Uh, also, we need stories. We need people that have that boots on ground practical experience to tell us how they've gone through that, to share that knowledge. Um, and then get in there, uh, collaborate. We're doing pull requests on document reviews so you can stay in code and get a good flow for review going. Um, we meet every second Tuesday and fourth Tuesday of the month. Uh, you can check the CNCF community calendar um, and come visit us at the TAG booth. Uh, I'll be there. Abby will be there. We'll all be rotating. Um, uh, come, uh, come heckle us. Let's see. And that's it. Uh, slides are here on the QR code. Uh, thanks a bunch. Thank you, Abby. You can say something here as well. Uh, and yeah. everyone have fun at KubeCon. Well, thank you so much. I think for anybody um, who's interested in this topic, the white paper that they put together is so insightful. I've read it. And then the maturity model is so well thought out and I've seen some drafts of it and it's really impressive. So if, um, and I love Abby, how you described, you know, it's the, from the application to the infrastructure's code, like what's in between. And I think so many people are struggling with that, which is why we are going to see at KubeCon, platform, 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 platform everywhere. So it's going to be, this content's going to be so important to like try and get through the noise that we're going to hear on it. So um, have a read. Hype, hype yeah. exists for a reason. It's very exciting stuff, but we do need to cut through the noise sometimes and have a shared language so that we can all get the benefit from it. So that's our, that's our goal. So yeah, absolutely. Thank you for the kind words. Well, uh, thank you so much, Abby. Thank you so much, Colin. I will see you at KubeCon in a few weeks. Um, so thank you. I'm going to, I'm going to boot you out of here now. Somehow I got to scroll down for that. Bye Abby. Bye Colin. Thank you.